Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Ben, and my name on YouTube is Notions One. Did that back to front, but anyway, just going to do a review of the Gigabyte Z77 D3H or Z77 D3H motherboard. This is a socket 1155 motherboard with the Z or Z77 chipset as you can see I've got it all plugged in there it's got four DIMM slots for a total of 32 megabyte each slot will take 8 megabytes each it's got heat sinks over the VRMs uh, over the MOSFET sorry not VRMs I'm running an R9280X by MSI, as you can see there, in this. So I was into Litecoin mining, but I've stopped doing that now. And I'm only on a 650 watt power supply because this 850 watt Corsair RM850 blue. Yeah, right, so this mothboard so far has been very stable for me. Running an Arctic Calling Freezer 13 Rev 2 with the fan facing down as you can see uh, in a Zalman Z or Z7 Z11 case I'll show you the back panel back panel is there and you've got up there PS2 port for a Microsoft keyboard two USB 2's USB 3 VGA DVI that's covered up, so I haven't taken the blanking plate off. HDMI, which I still haven't taken the blanking plate off because I don't use them. USB 3, two USB 2s here that are plugged in. Ethernet port there. Onboard sound with the green plugged in. This is plugged straight into my amplifier which is up there, an Onkyo A9155 in silver and down here is the expansion cards and at the top here is my R9280X by MSI it's even got, it's got uh, cutouts for water cooling so you can put your pipes through there and, uh, and, and there put your pipes through don't know if you can get a serious setup in there, but it's, it, it looks like you could do something, but I don't know what exactly. Yeah. So far, I've had this board running in this case for three or four days, and it's been spot on. And I do highly recommend it as well. Yeah, I've had no problems with it at all. And I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate. And it's just spot on. Perfect. It's got military grade capacitors, I think. Which does help. And uh, what else can I say? Board, it only cost me about £67, I think it was. It's got a USB 3 header there. On to the right of that is your ATX, main ATX 20 plus 1 connector. And underneath that are the SATA connectors which you can't see. It's got SATA 3 and it's got SATA 2. Above the PCI 16 times slot is a PCI Express slot. A, sm a small one for sound cards and, s and things like that. And you can see the capacitors, Japanese military grade capacitors. It's got two PCI Express slots and it's also got another PCI slot that you can just see there, the blue one at the top. The gigabyte heat sink there with gigabyte on it is covering the chip set up. It's got an M SATA connector as well. M SATA so I could put an SSD actually on the motherboard which I think is a very very neat idea and the 12 volt is up the top left which is in a bit easier place than right at the top so I can actually get to it there it's an 8 pin 12 volt on this board 
Uh, I think it's got support for FT, uh, SP diff, but yeah, it's got an SP diff, diff out on the very left hand side at the top next to the black connector out. It's SP diff. Got running three hard drives in it, one terabyte, 500 gig, and a 60 gig OZZ agility free solid state drive. The, the two hard drives are both Samsung. I like Samsung hard drives. Samsung's a very good make. Uh, what else? Yeah, as I said before, it's a very good board. Never let me down in the three or four days I've had it. So, uh, CPU fan, header, power fan headers. It's got it's got enough of them. It hasn't got over the top, and it hasn't got too little either. And uh, it supports yeah the USB three as I mentioned before, and it's got USB two for the front panel. This this bought this case is a Zalman Z11. Got a little cubby hole here for whatever you want to put in it. I put my mobile phone in it sometimes. You've got USB 2 and you've got USB 3 and you've got a hard drive LED. You've got a reset switch which I haven't hooked up and you've got the big power button here which my knee sometimes hits. The stick it's like a gigabyte stick on it and I had an AS lock in before. And um, this is for my mobile phone data connector on USB 2 and you've got your headphone in and out and there's all obviously connectors on the motherboard which, which take them in and the, as you can see this case it's got two blue LED fans the top one it's, it looks pretty big to me it looks like about 140 mil it's a big 120 and I guess the front one's the same because from a distance if you look at this case it looks really nice and really bright and I'm just waiting to, to get that old, so not old, but the, the, the Corsair power supply sent back and get a new one and then put it in this computer. But I'm not, not too bothered because this Corsair Master 650 watt GX bronze power supply seems to do the job admir admir admirably. Yeah, so this is my review of the Gigabyte Z or Z77. 3D D 3H sorry. Oh I'll, I'll tell you what RAM I'm running. I'm running two sticks of Corsair Vengeance 1600 megahertz and one stick of Excel Store 1333 megahertz. So I'm running it at 1333 because the 1333 stick won't overclock to 1600. And if it did I still wouldn't trust it. Anyway, I think I'll end this video now because it's getting a bit long. And hope you enjoy it. I recommend this board to anyone with a socket 1155 CPU. Or if you haven't got one, you could buy an Ivy Bridge and make a cheap setup. A solid, stable, cheap setup. Not much money. Anyway, please like, subscribe, rate, comment, do what you want. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have, do what I just said. And thank you for watching and have a nice day or a nice evening. Goodbye and goodbye.